uh, here. In the past, in the previous lecture, lecture one, lecture two, lecture three, and lecture four, we have discussed the third missionary trip of Paul. Third. See, when we talk about the third, that means there must be a one, first and second and third, like that, okay? Then, would you tell me what was the, uh, what year he was born? AD? Five, he was born, like that, okay? Then he became a Christian in AD 35, when he was 30 years old. He became a Christian, here, right here, okay? Then, starting his ministry in the Antioch church in 45, when he was 40 years old. 10 years after his conversion, he became a full-time pastor right here in Antioch church. Okay, now from there, he began to uh, uh, take off for missionary journey uh, starting 46 to 48, which is the first missionary journey. Okay. Then, after he came back, he took second missionary journey starting AD 50 to 52. Okay. Now, we are talking about Third missionary journey about a few months later, which is 53, all the way to 57. That's the third missionary journey. We are in the midst of that third missionary journey. Okay. Now, we have learned that in as he started the third missionary journey, uh, he left Antioch, okay? Where did he go first? From Antioch, he traveled the Galatia and Phoenicia, and he arrived in Asia, province of Asia here, province of Asia, okay? In the third missionary journey, he arrived in where? Ephesus. Why Ephesus? Because Priscilla and Aquila were waiting for Paul's return. Why? Because they had prepared the school of Tyrannus uh, location. Okay? So as soon as Paul arrived in Ephesus, he discovered Priscilla and Aquila already purchased the school building. So they began the teaching ministry right there in AD 53. Teaching ministry. Okay? For how many years? For two years until 55. So two years, it's the school ministry right here, okay? School of Tyrannos, school of Tyrannos. Now, while he was about the completion of the school training there, which is 55, in the 55, he, he was told by his colleague some problems here in Corinth, okay, so he, he wrote the letter to the Corinth in what year? 55. From what city? Ephesus. So he wrote Corinthian, first and second Corinthians in AD 55, where? In Ephesus. Got it? 
we study that. Now, after he finished writing episodes, the Holy Spirit uh, inspired him to travel further to revisit Macedonia and Greece and all the way down to province of Achaia, which is right here in Corinth. So from Ephesus, he traveled, I'm talking about after he finished writing First and Second Corinthians, okay? Now he traveled all the way to Corinth and stayed there how many months? Three months, three months. He stayed there, stayed in Corinth for three months while he was retraining people there. Then what had happened? The, his, his, his disciples who, who graduated from school of Tyrannus, how many of them? Around 100 of them, but out of 100 of them, he, he dispatched how many missionaries to Rome? About 30, 30 missionaries uh, he sent out to Rome upon their graduation. Okay? So those 30 of them had been busy with sharing the gospel in the city of Rome. And they had discovered that, wow, it's not easy to teach those uh, high academic people and high government officers and senior uh, military uh, officers because they, they, they are intellectuals. So they really want to uh, hear systematic theology on Christianity where they could not present effectively. So they asked whom? Paul. When Paul was in Corinth. Okay? So Paul decided to write the letter to Romans in AD 57 near the end of the third missionary journey. Okay? Now, he wrote Romans in Corinth okay, while he was staying in Corinth for three months. Okay? So last time we have learned that story. Remember? There was a lecture four. Now, today, starting lecture five here. You see, this is the way I make connection. Here, after three months, Paul left Corinth to Macedonia. Okay, so now here, after three months here in Corinth, Holy Spirit inspired him, okay, you, your next trip would be Jerusalem, Jerusalem, right here. <clears throat> because Jesus told <clears throat> Paul, Paul, now you have spent one, two, and sec third, third missionary journeys and miss evangelizing most of the God's people in these areas already. You have evangelized. Now, Jesus said, my concern is this. You better go to Jerusalem where leaders in Jerusalem, such as Pharisees and scribes, and Sadducees, all those so-called Jewish leaders who 
Not all of them, but few of them need to receive the gospel out of you. Not only that, those military forces, Roman soldiers who stationed in Jerusalem, in Caesarea, because Caesarea is an ocean city, uh, which was the uh, headquarter, headquarter of Roman soldiers who, who, they, who were in charge of this so-called Israel territory. Okay, so the Caesarea, city of Caesarea, is a harbor city, was the headquarter location for Roman soldiers. Heavily fortified by Roman soldiers there, and Jesus told Moses, that, not Moses, Paul, that, Paul, I'm going to send you Jerusalem and Caesarea. Okay, to evangelize here top-notch Jews in Jerusalem, okay, and also governors, Roman governors, and high officers who stationed in Jerusalem, okay. Not only that, I'm going to let you travel to Caesarea thereafter, and you will meet many Roman soldiers where you have to share the gospel with them. That was uh, Paul's uh, vision according to what Jesus had said to him. Okay, Then Jesus said this, After that, I'm going to send you from here all the way to Rome. Okay, And you will meet Emperor Caesar, and all the high government officers. That was, that was God's plan in the life of Paul. Okay. Not only that, after you spend there in Rome for two years, that we called the imprisonment. Okay. Imprisonment. He was kind of a house arrest, which we will study later. After that, you have other job to do. Okay, from after two years here in Rome, he began to travel the number four, fourth missionary journey. We will be studying later, okay? And in the fourth missionary journey, he traveled all the way to Spain, right here. Spain, okay? And after Spain, he traveled all the way back to all these former disciples' cities and retraining them. While he was doing that, in AD 67, he was arrested. And then 68, he, he was beheaded in Rome. That was the end of his story. But we will study all these stories very much in detail. But I just want to give you just briefly overview what teachings will be in ahead of us. Are you with me? Now here again, lecture five. Now here, that was when he was in Corinth, Paul was in Corinth, he received a message that Paul, this is not the end of your trip. You go, we will see here, look at me. From here, Jesus should have sent Paul to Rome direct because it's very close, very close. At the time, no airplane. Okay. But it was Jesus' plan that I know this is a shortcut to Rome, but you will go to Rome later. Okay? You have other jobs to do before I send you to Rome. What, are, what were the other jobs? Evangelizing Jews and evangelizing high-ranking uh, you know, Jews and high-ranking religious leaders. Not only that, 
high ranking Roman soldiers in, in Israel and Caesarea, all these areas. That was his job. So he ought to do that ministry first. Then I will take you all the way to Rome, where you have many jobs to do over there too. So Paul foreknew that he will not be killed until he completed his ministry. Okay, he knew that. So he was not afraid of dying in spite of, in the midst of all kinds of persecutions that happened to his life during those days. Now, here again, now here, from Corinth, where he will go, he will go to Jerusalem. He knew that, okay? But prior to do that, prior to do that, he had planned the, the first way, fastest way back to Jerusalem would be what? From here to take a ocean liner, okay, direct to Jerusalem. That could be a shortcut way. You got it? But God did not have him that way. Now, instead of taking shortcut way to Jerusalem, okay, God led him to Macedonia, so go back to Macedonia, which is a Philippi, city of Philippi, and Thessalonica is right here. Thessalonica is right here. So revisited to meet his disciples and encouraging them, strengthening them. That was his job. They needed Paul's presence. Okay, so Bible said they went all the way. Paul and his his his, his people went up to Macedonia. But Paul's mind was not only remain in Macedonia, which is Philippi, but he was going. His his mind goes to Ephesus all the time. Ephesus, because Ephesus was a key city. Okay residing in Paul's heart all the time. Hmm. Now, he was, Paul was uh, here, seven disciples uh, accompanied by Paul during that time. Okay, the Bible says right here in Acts chapter 20 verse 4, uh, listed seven disciples, okay, always followed Paul. And their names were Sopater, they are Berean, Berean means it is Berea is right here, Thessalon Thessalonica and Berea, so it's a Greek people, okay, and Aristocos, it's a Greek Thessalonican people, all the Greek Macedonians and Greek people. And Secundus, Thessalonians, and Gaius, a Darbian, a, not Darbian, Derb, Derb. Derb is, Derb is, is around here, Lystra and Derb, that, a Timothy's hometown, okay, Timothy's hometown, okay, Derb, so Gaius and Derbian, and Timothy also we call it Lystra, Lystra people, Lystrian or Derb. That's a state, the Caius and Timothy, they came from same, near same hometown. And Tychicus is very, see, you have a, you have a well-known name, Tychicus and Timothy. And Caius also is, is a well-known man. You see? Now, we're talking about here, when he was in Corinth, the seven key members, okay, accompanied with Paul, Paul's helpers. Now here, you know Timothy, okay? And Tychicus is a very, very important man. 
Tychicus. He, he's, it's, the Bible said he's Asian man, but Tychicus, the province of Asia means right here. Tychicus, hometown, was Ephesus. Now, you write it down. Later, when he was in Roman prison, he wrote how many letters? Prison letters. How many? Four of them. Remember? First one is what? Ephesians, Philippians, Colossians, and Philemon, like that, okay? Now, at the time, when after Paul finished the writing letter to Ephesus, letter to Ephesians, here, Tychicus carried the letter. Tychicus. He, Tychicus, that means Tychicus, and all these seven guys here, travel along with Paul all the way to Jerusalem. Okay? Not only that, from Jerusalem to Caesarea, not only that, to Rome later. Are you following me? That's why when Paul was finished writing a letter to Ephesians, he gave that letter to carry the letter whom? Who carried the letter? Tychicus. In Ephesians chapter 6, 20, verses 22, 23, there his name is there. That's the end part of, end part of the, the letter to Ephesians. And Tychicus was the one who carried the letter. From where? From Rome. Okay? So he was so faithful to Paul's ministries. Traveled all the way together with Paul. Tychicus. Not only that, Timothy. You know that. Okay? Timothy. And one more man, he's a trophy. It's Asian man. So here, seven disciples uh, followed Paul all the time during the time of this third missionary journey. Now, Paul said this. He said here, when he ready to depart Corinth, he said, seven my disciples, you do not follow me. You go direct to Troas. Okay, so we assume they took a boat to Troas. They took a boat to Troas. Okay, and he Paul said, "You go there first. I will, I will, I will visit Troas later. You go there first, and you prepare my coming." Okay. In other words, in the Troas, in in the city of Troas, Paul spent time uh, with the people there and teaching the Bible. Uh, Special seminar. So seven people uh, went there before Paul's coming and, and prepared for upcoming Paul's Bible seminar. Isn't it interesting? Okay. Now, so they left to what city? Troas. And Paul, after that, went up to where? Macedonia, and he came back to Troas. This is a story right here. Paul was to take a sailboat heading to Syria. Syria means, is it on the way to Jerusalem? Okay. He, his plan was to, because there is no such ocean liner, okay, uh, sailing direct to Jerusalem. There at, in those days, most of the ocean liners go to Syria. Tyre, Tyre is a, today is a Lebanon. Anyway, in this way, not direct to uh, Jerusalem. There is no such an ocean liner schedule. That's why 
Paul was to take a boat heading to Syria. The Bible says, Acts chapter 20, verse 3. And to, then from Syria to Jerusalem, he was going to that, his plan. Okay? But he could not take the boat because when he was about to, in Corinth, about to take a boat, Jewish people had a plot to kill him. So waiting in a boat, okay? That's why he changed, he detoured his way to what direction? Northern part, Macedonia. The reason why he went up to Macedonia. That's why Paul said, my seven disciples, you okay, you take a boat and go to Tyre. Not Tyre, go to Troas. Okay, you are okay, but I am not okay, I am not safe. So you take a boat, you go to Troas. Are you with me? And Paul, he was alone to go all the way to Macedonia instead. This is what I say. This is the story right here. Uh, due to the Jews' plot to kill him. Okay? Now, Paul, therefore, Paul changed the trip route, decided to take the tour route to Macedonia, which is Philippi, in Acts chapter 20, verse 3 says so. Okay? I just re repeating that. I explained to you already, but I'm going to just repeat it. Also, Paul decided to send his seven disciples to where? To Troas. Direct by sea ahead of him. I always told him. Not taking them with him to Macedonia. It's okay. Now, to prepare for Paul's later visit seminar. We are here in Acts 20, verse 5. So we now know that Paul, upon his arrival uh, at Troas, he will conduct a Bible seminar there. Yeah. So Paul arrived in the Philippi, northern Philippi, in Macedonia, and strengthening and encouraging his disciples. Instead, he did it. So lecture five, it's been a little bit long story, but this is the lecture five story, which is what? After completing his writing, Romans, okay, he was going to travel all the way to where? To Jerusalem. But he had to take a ship to, to, to take that voyage. Voyage means is an ocean trip, okay, ocean trip. But Jewish people tried to kill him, so he knew that. So he sent his seven disciples ahead. And he went all the way up to Macedonia, okay. Now, his seven disciples were waiting for him where? Troas, Troas. So in the next lecture, lecture six, we will be learning story what had happened in Troas, which is a very, very important city, Troas. Are you okay? May God bless you. Amen. <laughs>